Hey guys, I'm Fog here and welcome to another FIFA 21 player review and in this video guys I'm going to be reviewing the 83 rated Lucas Moura. I didn't think, I didn't think for the start of FIFA 21 that my first two reviews would be on Tottenham Hotspur players but hey, FIFA 21 and any FIFA always has a, a way of surprising you so uh, of course we have already reviewed Young Min Son on the channel and now we are reviewing Lucas Moura who I was also able to pack which is absolutely insane. Um, expensive for an 83 rated card, I think he was a, a similar price last year when he was a centre forward. Again, just like Son being a position change from a centre forward to a wide player. He is a right midfielder this year. I did use him in a 4-3-3 formation as a right winger. Four games, three goals and one assist. It was only three games that I was able to complete him though because one person left 0-0 uh, pretty early on through one of the matches. Four-star skills and four-star weak foot is in-game. He's got 92 balance, 93 agility, 88 dribbling and also 95 acceleration. And I like this card a lot. Yes, as I said before, expensive for an 83 rated card. You know, I think he's going for around 50, 60,000 coins on both PlayStation and Xbox, which um, obviously I know that for an 83 rated card, you're probably sitting there thinking, that's that, you know, that, that is so much coins. If he was playing in like La Liga, League On, um, I he still obviously would have a price tag to him. But again, it's it's the Premier League market that's, that makes uh, players just so much more expensive. You know, you look at 79 rated Nathan Ake, who's like extinct at the moment. Um, I don't think like I think he costs quite a bit of coins. I actually, having him in my team as well, which is pretty cool. But uh, well, yeah. Anyway, Lucas Moura, um, fantastic to use, really really good. Out of all the players that I've used so far, and I have only played three games of FIFA 21, he's my favorite player so far. I absolutely love him. And don't get me wrong, I used Son and Son was obviously very good, but if someone said to me who's going to be a bigger impact to my team, Son or Mora, I'd say probably uh, Lucas Mora, I honestly would say that, I think uh, he just clicked for me, I, I'm not saying that Son didn't, Son was obviously a very good player, but in terms of value for money, I think you get better value for money than Lucas Mora. Um, at, at, at this stage of the game anyway obviously prices can change pretty quickly in this game but um, yeah his finishing was class three goals in the three games uh, he's got four star uh, weak foot as well which is obviously very good um, really really good goals I think he might hit the woodwork as well on a couple of occasions as well, which is unlucky. But um, yeah, great return from a winger. They're getting their free goals in those three games, which is which is superb. His pace is fantastic. He is so rapid. 95 acceleration, 89 sprint speed. I had the base of chem style. So I haven't really figured what chem style to apply to players yet. Although when I start setting up my main team with Suarez and then stuff like that, I'll then start applying my chem styles. I'm not going to start applying them until I've got my main team sorted. Um, but yeah, his accelerated, not his acceleration, his sprint speed also goes up into the 90s with the base of Kempster, which is fantastic, and obviously combining it with his really high agility and balance just makes him such a joy. He is so quick, he's an absolute menace for the opposition defenders. He pretty much beats every opposition fullback I was going up against. And I think every game that I played, I was coming up against Premier League teams. The first game I played, actually, I had to come up against an attack of Mane. Uh, Mane, Rashford and Greenwood I believe and the other two matches I was coming up against lower rated Premier League teams but all Prem teams so far so although the Prem is like the most expensive league everyone just likes to build towards that league just because you know it's the best um, but yeah no he was a menace though for uh, you know for, for, for opposition fullbacks um, was beating them so easily very easy to turn with on the ball as well doesn't feel sluggish very nice and smooth very easy to be able to cut in with him it worked out being four goal contributions in three games and you can't complain with that kind return at all can you that's absolutely fantastic his dribbling's class as well as i said before insane balance and agility um really good ball control is dribbling superb as well so he's just a great card to have and i think you've you've got to i mean you know when you look at this card and you think yeah he's only got 72 passing he's only got 78 shooting you know yeah those stats are kind of those stats are poor for someone on paper who would cost you know if you sit there and you're thinking sixty thousand coins for a guy that's got 78 shooting yes on paper that doesn't look great but you've got to look past that. He just plays so well in game. And obviously, yes, over time he will become cheaper. Um, there's no doubt about that. He was still a price there for quite a while. You know, a Brazilian Premier League player. They just always do tend to be kind of expensive, certainly for quite a while through the game cycle. But um, but yeah, I think he 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 certainly would be fantastic for champions material early on in the game. He honestly would be. He's he's such a joy to use. I am gonna keep him. Although he's got a big price tag, I, I want to have him in my main team. I want him to stay with Fabinho, getting the green link so he can put uh, nice little short passes through to Luis Suarez. I'm kind of trying to picture up my main team. I'm not too sure. Pro I'll probably get a chem style that increases both his passing and, uh, and shooting. I think that would be the dead eye chem style as well. But um, yeah, if, if you're thinking of buying him, I'd, I'd say go for it. I think he's a top, top player and I think... Um, you, you wouldn't regret spending your coins on him. And I think if you pack him, I'd also encourage you to use him uh, as well. But anyway, guys, that will finish off this player review. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.